the highest bandwidth real-time oscilloscope in the world. It's the Labmaster 10100ZI, which has 100 gigahertz of analog bandwidth and samples of 240 giga samples per second. And it achieves that using our patented DBI technology, digital bandwidth interleaving, that allows us to interleave three 36 gigahertz, 80 giga sample per second channels to achieve one channel of 100 gigahertz, 240 giga sample per second. Um, I've been working at Teledyne LaCroix for nearly two years now, and um, I was always appreciate the opportunity to uh, work with the, the fastest technology in the world. All right, that's uh, pretty impressive specs there. So what are we looking at here? So what we're looking at is the question that we get a lot is, well, how do you generate signals um, that you can see on a, on a scope with such high bandwidth? How do you generate signals with such high frequency? And there's a few ways to do that. Um, you, can, you can have very fast rise time pulses. Um, the kind of classic thing that you see a lot of people doing is using a frequency synthesizer with a multiplier. Microwave so you, multiplier. Yeah, yeah. micro multiplier. So you could generate a signal about 33 gigahertz and multiply that up to 100 gigahertz. Um, but the primary customer base for this, the primary application space, tends to be optical. Mm -hmm. um, so um, a, a lot of the cases, the signals start out as optical in nature. So you can use very short, uh, short pulse width lasers, femtosecond pulse lasers. But the other thing that we can do, uh, and, and we, we, what we're doing here, if we want to generate a, a very, very high frequency tone or sine wave, um, is we're using um, this instrument here, which is a Coherent Solutions IQ transmitter. Um, it's a coher an optical coherent modulator. And we're just essentially just using it as a laser generator. We're generating a laser. The, f the frequency of the light source is 193.3 terahertz, just, just to go a little further into the frequency <laughs> wow. superlatives. Um, and that is being fed through this fiber here into this, which is essentially the opposite number of this. It's a Coherent Solutions um, IQ receiver. It's essentially a, a coherent optical receiver. Um, and this also has its own local laser, uh, which is essentially acting as a local oscillator in here. And that's right now tuned to 194 terahertz. And there's a mixer in here as well. So what it's doing is taking this laser, 193.3, 193.9 terahertz, excuse me, and mixing it with this laser at 194 terahertz. So the difference frequency is 100 gigahertz. And it's then running that through a photodiode, which is a, uh, being used in optical to electrical converters. So what we have is a signal, an electrical signal of 100, roughly 100 gigahertz uh, frequency coming out here and into the scope uh, through a very, very short cable because the losses are, are pretty spectacular. Uh, at 100 gigahertz, so you have to be very careful with your cabling. Um, and you can see here, we have the signal here on top, um, so it's a long acquisition that we're just looking at a zoom of here. Um, the, these lasers are not as, by their nature, are not as stable as like an RF local mm -hmm. oscillator, so there's yep. a little bit of movement to it. Um, it's not a problem in the target application because you use a lot of, sig a lot of uh, signal processing to deal with that. Right. Um, but you can see the signal's moving up and down a bit, but it's a 100 gigahertz sine wave. It's being measured here. It's 99.9, 99.8 gigahertz. It's as close wow. as we can get to the, to the precise 100 gigahertz with the setup. Um, and we have a, a uh, spectrum here. We're doing an FFT of this signal, essentially. And you can see there's one spike here, which is showing up at 99.9 .9 gigahertz. This doesn't look like the main FFT function. That's just a FFT trace, right? It's just an FFT trace. It's not, yeah. our, it's not our spectrum option, spectrum analysis option. I was about to say it looks a little bit different. Well, yeah. it was a really nice demonstration. Um, thanks for doing that with us. And, You're welcome. Uh,